Welcome to our Arduino Project Infrared Experiment. This experiment has to do with the last project we did, which I will post a link regarding the infrared remote control. So let's see what happens when we add a different control. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. So let's begin. So our last project, we were experimenting with the IR receiver and that is the remote control that comes with the kit. And if you push a number, for example, one, the serial monitor will show one. So my question was, what happens if we change remotes? So let's change it to a standard television remote. And let's see what we get. If you push one, as I'm doing on here, you get a code. Now pay attention to that last number, the 37727 number. That appears when you push the television remote. So the area on the code where the change things is going to be on the case statement. And as you can see, that number is in hexadecimal. So let's go on our mobile phone online to a converter that converts the decimal value to hexadecimal. Let's punch in that decimal number. 37727 84 eight six three you hit calculate and where the arrow is that is the hexadecimal number that you need so I copied and pasted code and that is what it should say that hexadecimal number remember put zero X that hexadecimal number and I call it one button pressed and add the break as the other ones so let's send this to the Arduino so now you are looking at the serial monitor and I am going to use the television remote. So let's press the one button and let's see what it does. It should say what I put in the code. Now it says one button pressed. So you can program all those numbers in that case statement and have fun with the remote and make it do multiple things. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and remember, subscribe to the channel. Remember, keep on learning.